written during the year 1945 at the close of World War II. C.S. Lewis's marvelous book, The Great Divorce, actually has nothing to do with human divorce, but is instead taking off from William Blake's famous work, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. In Lewis's book, he describes how he imagines the divorce of heaven and hell. This book is witty but profound, and it's one that Lewis called a supposal, something where he's not trying to teach us the theology of what heaven and hell are actually like, but the human conditions that may result in one or the other. In the story, he envisions a busload of noisy, quarrelsome passengers being taken on, on a magical bus ride from a gray and depressing city of endless streets where it's always twilight, that is, hell, to a marvelously beautiful, fresh, green land at the foot of a majestic mountain range, heaven. What ensues when the bus and its passengers get there is a brilliant description of what happens when people, even Christians, give in to worldly notions about truth and insist that truth is malleable and individual and subjective and a matter of opinion rather than something that is absolute and firmly rooted in God's word. Clearly, this is a book that is exceedingly relevant today in an age where we are told in our culture that the highest good is to speak your own truth and that no one can contradict the truth that is authentic to you. What we will do this term in this podcast and in our class is to unpack the major themes that Lewis addresses here. We will find related scripture passages and discuss how those passages apply today and what we can learn from this book about how we live in a culture where the very concept of truth with a capital T seems to be being dismantled before our eyes. This is a book that is full of great spiritual wisdom and insight and also great humor. I hope you'll be able to join us. It's going to be a great adventure.